Ai, Shalom, o praise the Abba Shem Yashai, Abba Shem Kakodash, Tabalonis, to the apostles and elders, the great most honorable world, blessings to the whole full elect, teaching this word, no sincere and truth. Yeah, man, just gonna do a quick um, sit down, you know, going into basically the destruction that's coming. Um, a time that, like no other since there was a nation, a time that's coming to this planet, man, where. I hate the earth is gonna roll to and fro like a drunkard, like the scriptures say. All right, uh, this is Malachi four and one. For behold, the day, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud. All right, and we just had like uh, we just had Gay Pride Month recently over here in London. All right, and the Lord said, like all the proud. Ye all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. So all of you people that are proud out here in London, man, you think you're living it up, you think you you think you're good, so to speak, man. You think you you know you think you're gonna you think you're gonna get away, man. <laughs> yeah, how about me or Shai is gonna get you all, man. Alright, all you proud people out here, man, you motherfuckers, man. I can't wait for the Lord. And that's the spirit we're supposed to be in, man. You know, scripture says, you know, we're looking for and hastening the day when the elements being on fire shall melt with a fervent heat. You know, it says, all that do wickedly shall be stopped. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. That's talking about the Lord of armies, man. Alright, because the Lord is a man of war and the Lord ain't going to play around in the time to come. Okay? And he's going to send his own son down here with the armies of heaven, man. Just read Revelations 19. And that will tell you all of that. It said, That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay? So, what you got to understand is, There's going to come a time when Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to basically rain down judgment on this place. And that's why... It says is um, Ecclesiastes seven and three. It says sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The wise, the heart of the wise, is in a house of mourning. All right. Now, for you to be in a house of mourning, you ain't you know you ain't gonna be having a good time. All right. You ain't particularly gonna be in in you know living it up in Babylon. Basically, man, you are gonna be in a state of Mourning, sighing and crying for the abominations that be done in the mix thereof. Hey, the scriptures even speak about Lot and how he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. And that's basically how we are. You know, we, we, we want to get the fuck out of this place, man. Because this place stinks. Alright, it's filthy, it's disgusting, man. That This shit that is uphold, upheld in the society is, is, is filthy and rank. To, to, to the men of the Lord, man, you know, to the men that are clinging unto righteousness, to the men that don't put the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh behind them, to the words, to the men that, that uphold these words and actually, you know, keep their integrity in such a perverse and out and, and outlandish society that basically shits all over the scriptures, man. But you know what? The Lord says, what? All that will do wickedly, man, shall be stubble. So we know only. There's gonna come a time where <laughs> all of you guys that are in the house of mirth, you <laughs> hey, you gonna be free, man. <laughs> you know it says, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth, <laughs> and that's a lot of you people out here, man. The scripture says that the day of the Lord is gonna come like a thief in the night. All right, and a lot of you guys out here are in the house of mirth. A lot of you guys are fools. All right, and when that destruction come up upon you like a whirlwind, the Lord said He's gonna laugh at your calamity, man. And he's going to mock when your fear cometh, man. You best believe that. Alright? Because a lot of you people talk about God's all love, but you don't seem to understand that the Lord, you help Hashem, you he flooded the earth. Alright? He ain't a, he ain't a power that you want to play with, man. The scriptures did that shall not attempt the Lord thy power. Alright? The very fact that we're in this truth and doing what we're doing is through the terror of the Lord, man. The scripture says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord do we persuade men. This ain't no fucking game, man. Alright, we trying to get up out of here, man. This place is fucking done. Okay? This place is done. And all these people living out here in pride. Hey, man, you through, man. Second, uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 
all right? And when them elements are melted with a fervent heat, man, that day's going to come like a thief in the night. All right, when them, when them prophecies are just reeled off like dominoes, man, falling amongst each other, that like these prophecies are going to be tumbling and there ain't going to be nothing anyone going to be able to do to stop it, man. All right, and that day's going to come like a thief in the night. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. All right, and you, a lot of you people out here are saying peace and safety. A lot of you people want this place to continue. Right, a lot of you people, you know, you want this place that promotes, you know, uh, homosexuality and transgenderism. A lot of you people want this place to go, you know, keep, keep, keep on keeping on, basically. All right, because you're proud and you think that that the Lord ain't gonna judge this place, but the Lord is gonna judge this place, man. Just look at Sodom and Gomorrah; it got destroyed as an example, as as those t that after should live ungodly, man. And the Lord delivered just Lot. All right. And in this time, we hey, we hope that we come in the same lot as Lot, man. Ba basically being saved in the end of this thing. Because I, to be honest, I don't want to be destroyed, man. I want to inherit everlasting life. Alright? I don't want to be judged by the Heavenly Father to the point where it's like, yo, you're just going to burn in some missiles, man. Like, that's 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 not, that's a, that's a dishonorable death. Right, and you're gonna have to have like have that carry that with you in the in, in, in the kingdom, man, because we're gonna live forever. Now, if you're gonna die, you got you know I'd rather die for, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's that's an honorable way to go out, man. Hey Yahweh Yahweh Shai did it. You know? And the serve hey man, <laughs> this group says Mark the perfect man. You be supposed to be following the lamb. You know, and and if he did it, man, you gotta be prepared to go through it too, man, if need be. All right, because the hour of temptation is coming, man. Okay, but yeah, man, you know, um, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> World War Three is just around the corner, man. And you got Turkey coming up against America now. You got Iran burning American flags. <laughs> you got tensions between Russia and America, man. The wars and the rumors of wars. All of these things are prophecies, man. And in the midst of all of that, we still got to teach this word and put up with the shit that Esau allows in this in this wicked ass society. Alright, we gotta just basically just fucking live through it all, man. But you know what, man? All of this shit is gonna come to an end, man. All of the all of the pride and all of the fucking these women that think that they're, you know, they think that they got it and that, and, you know, these proud ass two third people, like, you know, men of our nation, so called men of our nation, man. They think they got it. The Lord is gonna know, man. The Lord's gonna show you, man. And the scripture says, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Okay? Let me close out on um, Because I'd have quoted it before But um, if I, Let me start from Proverbs 1 and 7 It's the fear of the Lord Yahweh Is the beginning of knowledge But fools despise wisdom and instruction And the fear of the Lord is what man Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord Do we persuade men There's nothing You know there's no pride That's required into fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Alright In order for you to fear the Lord <laughs> You can't. You gotta put that pride to the side because you know that you, this is not of your of your own doing, man. You can't save yourself in the time that's come. The time of Jacob's trouble. The time when the missiles are launched, man. <laughs> Scripture says, "Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord." For what end is it for you? But the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. You know. This is about fools despise wisdom and destruction. And we cry aloud and spare not, man. We lift up our voice like a trumpet and show the house of Jacob their sins, man. Let them know that they're transgressing against the Heavenly Father, that the blood may be off of our hands. Alright? But as for you guys that don't want to hearken, this is for you, man. It says, verse 22, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Alright? Only a fool is going to hate the knowledge of the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Ultimately, you just ain't of the elect, man. The reason why you're going to be simple is because the Lord hasn't opened your eyes to basically receive this knowledge. You know? Isaiah 6 and 9 tells you that, man. You know? It says, um, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I'll pour my, my spirit unto you. I'll make known my words unto you. And how's the Lord showing us his word, man? Through the spirit, man. You know, through teachers, 
through the men that taught us this, this truth. The scripture says, uh, Amos 5, uh, 3 and 6, uh, 7, Surely the Most High Yahweh would do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. And the Lord has poured out his spirit unto us, man, and we hope to retain that. Right? It says, because I have called and you refused. These scoffers refused, man. Got a lot of guys playing games, man. You know, we out there presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. We out there on the highways and the byways. We teaching this word. You know, we we, we declaring the works at the end <laughs> through prophecy. All right, and the Lord is calling, but you refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. The Lord stretching out His hand, man. All right, we <laughs> you man ain't regarding it, man. But you have set no all my counsel with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And that's how you plainly to the point. Yeah, yeah how about Shimmy is going to do some shit, man? Alright? <laughs> the Lord is going to do some stuff, man. So with that, man, Lord willing, you are Kim will edify, man. You know, I'm going to close it out, man. Shalom.